People's Bank of China Governor Pan Gongsheng announced that the central bank will soon reduce the amount of cash that banks must hold as reserves, which is known as the reserve requirement ratio, by 0.5 percentage points, thereby freeing up liquidity of about 1 trillion yuan, or about 140 billion U.S. dollars, into the market for lending. The governor added that China will also lower mortgage rates on existing home loans to a level similar to those of newly issued housing loans, and the average reduction is expected to be around 0.5 percentage points. He also said the down payment requirements for buyers of second homes will be reduced from 20 percent to 15 percent nationwide. The reduction in existing mortgage interest rates is expected to benefit 50 million households or 150 million people, reducing household interest expenses by an average about 150 billion yuan per year, which will effectively boost consumption and investment. New tools to boost the capital market were also introduced. The central bank will establish a swap program for securities, funds and insurance companies to have easier access to funding to buy stocks. It will also create a special relending facility to guide commercial banks to provide loans to listed companies and their major shareholders for buybacks and increasing shareholdings. To enhance the stable operation and development capabilities of large commercial banks and strengthen their role in serving the real economy, the government plans to increase the core tier one capital for China's six large commercial banks in a gradual manner.